Right, this is about paints and pigments. So, we're going to ask ourselves, why do we paint things? And the answer is two reasons. Number one, to make them look more attractive, but also it can protect things as well. So it can protect metal or it can protect wood. Um, there are three things in paint you need to know about. The first thing is the pigment. That gives the paint its colour. So this... Um, this paint will contain lots of greys and blues and that gives it its colour. Then you've got the binding medium and that is the substance which makes the paint stick to the surface you are applying it to. And then there's the solvent and that helps the paint spread out, that helps thin the paint to spread it out. The last thing you need to know on this point is that all paints are colloids. What's a colloid? Well, it's lots of tiny little solid particles that are dispersed within a liquid but don't dissolve within it and they're spread out throughout the entire liquid and all paints are colloids. Right, you need to know about how oil-based paints dry and water-based paints dry. Let's look at water-based paints first. I spread them thinly and then the solvent evaporates and that causes the paint to dry. With an oil-based paint, um, the solvent also evaporates, but then the oil is oxidized by oxygen in the air and that causes it to dry. You also need to know about thermochromic paints. They're paints that change colour depending on the temperature. So if they get hotter, they may change colour, or if they get colder, they may change colour. Now we could use these, for instance, with a hot mug of tea. I don't want to touch it if it's too hot because I might burn myself, but as it cools down, it, the mug could actually change colour, so I then know if it's safe to drink or not. Um, now one of the problems with thermochromic paints is that there's a limited number of colours, not very many. So if I mix them with acrylic paints, then I get a wider range of colours. And they're thermochromic paints. Now we're talking about glow-in-the-dark paints. In the olden days, um, people used to sometimes use radioactive chemicals which used to glow in the dark, but they were very dangerous. Nowadays, we use phosphorescent paints. They also glow in the dark, but they're much safer. They work by absorbing light during the daytime and then they release it very slowly the whole time, so they appear to glow in the dark at night time.